right here. So to say, I'm going to read you our book above pay grade. So the title is George's Marvellous Medicine and the author is Roald Dahl. And you can see on the board the illustrator is Quentin Blake. Can you predict what medicine George might make? Pause the video now. Okay, so I'm going to go on to our reading vipers. I'm going to read you the questions first so that you can listen out when I'm reading. Question one. Where is George's mother going? Tick one. Home, kitchen, shops or library? V, vocabulary. Find and copy one word which means sleeping. And I, inference. Why was George feeling tired? Chapter one, Grandma. I'm going shopping in the village, George's mother said to George on Saturday morning. So be a good boy and don't get up to mischief. This was a silly thing to say to a small boy at any time. It immediately made him wonder what sort of mischief he might get up to. And don't forget to give Grandma her medicine at 11 o'clock, the mother said. Then she went out, closing the back door behind her. Grandma, who was dozing in her chair by the window, opened one wicked little eye and said, Now you heard what your mother said, George. Don't forget my medicine. No, Grandma, George said. And just try to behave yourself for once in a while while she's away. Yes, Grandma, George said. George was bored to tears. He didn't have a brother or a sister. His father was a farmer and the farm they lived on was miles away from anywhere. So there were never any children to play with. He was tired of staring at pigs and hens and cows and sheep. He was especially tired of having to live in the same house as that grisly old grunion of a grandma. Looking after all by himself, he was hardly enjoying this. It was not the most exciting way to spend his Saturday morning. You can make me a nice cup of tea for a start. Grandma said to George. That'll keep you out of mischief for a few minutes. Yes, Grandma, George said. George couldn't help disliking Grandma. She was a selfish, grumpy old woman. She had pale brown teeth and a small puckered up mouth like a dog's bottom. How much sugar in your tea today, Grandma? George asked her. One spoon, she said, and no milk. Most grandmas are lovely, kind, helpful old ladies, but not this one. She spent all day and every day sitting in her chair by the window. And she was always complaining, grousing, grouching, grumbling, griping about something or another. Never once, even on her best days, had she smiled at George and said, Well, how are you this morning, George? Or... Why don't you and I have a game of snakes and ladders? Or, how was school today, George? She didn't seem to care about other people, only about herself. She was a miserable old grouch. So I'm going to stop there for today. What I'd like you to do is have a go at the vipers on the board and pause your video because after that I'm going to show you the answers. Pause the video now. Okay, I'm hoping that you paused the video and had a go at answering these three vipers yourself at home. Now I'm going to reveal the answers. So, retrieval. Where is George's mother going? Tick one. And you'll notice in bold font says the word one. And the answer was shops. I hope you got that right. Question two, V. Find and copy one word which means sleeping. And it was dozing. Question three, inference, why was George feeling tired? Because he had to live in the same house as grandma and look after her. I hope you had some similar answers to me. See you tomorrow.